guys, I have a couple of Nerf Dino Squad blasters that I will be reviewing together. There are three blasters under the Dino Squad series, and one water soaker, which is yet to be released. I have reviewed the X Rampage, this one, which is already published in a separate video. Hey guys, this is Cody. Welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified when I make the new video. First, this Tricera Blast cost around $20, while this Stego Smash cost around $10. I put the link down below where you can buy them. Once again, my review is unbiased and based on my honest feedback. First, I will unbox the Tricera Blast, which is this cool-looking blaster. Then, I will proceed to unbox the Stego Smash. So, what we have here is the blaster itself, 12 Nerf Dino Squad darts, and the instructions manual. So let's put this gun together. Since it's all in one piece, we only need to load it. And also, it's not motorized at all, so it doesn't need batteries. On to unboxing the Stego Smash. So what we have here is the five elite darts and the blaster itself. There is no instructions manual because this gun is very simple to use. Let's start going over the Tricera Blast. As you can see, this great looking blaster is designed to look like a Triceratops head. You have a short horn right in the middle in the nose area of the dinosaur and two long horns over here at the forehead area of the dinosaur that is normally used for defending itself, right there. The dinosaur mouth is wrapped around the barrel, right here, with the teeth, and you can also see the little eyes, right here. There is no sight or actual scope, but you can probably use the middle point, the horn right here, as a guide, and this part right here. We will test that soon to see if it works. The stock has a built-in six dart compartment, as in six on here and six on the other side. Moving back to the front, it has a brake action which is released by pulling the horn that's on the nose area forward to release. This dart loading feature is similar to the Sledge Fire Blaster, which is this one from the Zombie Strike series. As you can see, it is very similar. But unlike the Sledge Fire, the Tracera Blast can only fire one at a time, while the Sledge Fire can fire three at a time, which is disappointing. The good thing about the Tricera Blast, it uses a, an intelligent air restrictor system that allows the dart to fire regardless which chamber is loaded. Once you load the darts, like this, push the darts in, and then close it, then pull the pin right here, and you're ready to fire. Just press the trigger to fire a dart. Repeat the process to fire the next dart until you run out of ammunition in the chamber. Now let's go over this Stego Smash Blaster, which is the smallest blaster in the entire Dino Squad series. This blaster resembles the head of a Stegosaurus with all the sharp spines at the back of its head. There is no sight or scope, but you can probably use the spiky plates on the head to try to aim. I'll also test that to see if it works. It has four dart 
storage compartment at the front and it can shoot one at a time. To hide the dart, you simply put it in here and then pull the back part and then pull the trigger to fire. It is also similar to the fire strike, this one right here. Let's go ahead and test these blasters. So first, let's go over the Tricera Blast. It has a good design like the rest of the current Dino Squad series. It isn't too comfortable, but not too uncomfortable. The stock feels okay. The grip is also okay, but it's highly inaccurate. The sight don't work. It is very far off, and this part here blocks it, so it's kind of just for aesthetic purposes. So you'd probably have to do like this to try to aim, and even that won't work that well. But if it shot three at a time, like the sledge fire, then the accuracy problem probably wouldn't be that much of a problem. But since it doesn't, you can only have one shot to make your mark. You also have to be careful when shooting this, because if you put it like too close to your face, the hammer right here will scrape you on the face. The design is good, but everything else is just a dumpster fire. You can still collect this if you're into collecting Nerf guns or whatever. I still do like the dart storage stuff that's going on with the series, which is pretty nice. For this blaster, I give it an overall 5 out of 10. Now on to the Stego Smash. I also like the dart storage part on here. The design is also good. You can even move these around a bit. But the only thing is, like with the rest of them, they don't have like working sights. So you're going to have to tilt it like this, like your John Wick's little brother. Just go off that. But when I did that, it at least worked somewhat. You have to go off the, where the barrel points. Like this. And then go off of that. You're going to have to guess how far it will go. But overall, this one is probably the least bad out of the series. It was probably the best one to get if you just want something that works right. Because this one can be used for more than short range, unlike the other ones. This one, you can also collect it too. So overall, this one gets 8 out of 10. Alright, so if you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I release a new video. Until next time, Cody out.